Matt, you must be happy with that performance tonight, apart from the two goals in the five minutes. Yeah, uh, you know, I thought we we started the game fine. You know, we uh, it, it was important that we, we made sure that we you know we we didn't sort of lie down after conceding two goals and again through two mistakes. But really lucky to have Newcastle down and, and speak to Peter before the game. You know, you know his mentality is all about winning, which was great to hear. You know, it was uh, 11 players off for 45 minutes, and then a fresh 11 for the 45 minutes, and it was a real high tempo game. And you know, I thought uh, over the 90 minutes we, we, we managed to, you know, the, the pace of the game very well. You know, the full time and they have the advantage of being all full time uh, to get that extra work in. But uh, you know, I thought certainly second half. I thought we we dominated big spots the second half. Newcastle were a very talented team, and it's to Darton's credit that uh, Quakers matched them, and uh, even towards the end there were surpassing them. They've got some fantastic young players coming through, uh, and that's what academies are about. And I think you know. Uh, they have a big squad of under 23s, and you know I'm sure a lot of them players will go on to have good futures in the game. Uh, so it's important that you know when you go out against them that you don't show anybody respect. You match up against them, and uh, you know sensibly do it in the right way. And uh, I just thought it was a great occasion for everybody. You know we we didn't uh, we didn't uh, disgrace ourselves at all. If anything, I thought we deserved more of the game. Certainly with chances uh, throughout the game. You know I think we should have been a bit more ruthless in front of goal. First half we had a great chance to go 2-2. Uh, having said that, I'll keep making two or three great saves where you know they could have capitalised on their chances. But uh, you know, a bit disappointed with a goal from the free kick that goes directly in. You know, that makes it a two-two result. Uh, and as much as it's not about winning, it's a nicer feeling coming off of the draw. <laughs> you, you gave a few trialers a game. I wouldn't expect you to name them, but are any of those lads got uh, a chance of coming here permanently? Yeah, if Kevin Keegan keeps working on his fitness, I think he'll get a game next season. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But no, no, no. It's uh, yeah. We're just looking at players still, like every manager is. We're trying to make sure that uh, the players we have keep uh, working under the pressure. That you know, we're trying to bring in stronger, better players every season. And uh, I thought the lads that came tonight did ever so well. So you know, food for thought. Good crowd, one thousand seven hundred and seventy-five. It's uh, about three quarters of those from Darlow. Yeah, great support, and I think that's important. That you know, certainly on games like this, when uh, Newcastle come into town, that uh, people come out to watch them, and I think uh, they go home happy. I think both teams put in a good show, and uh, I'm sure there'll be nobody go home and think, well, you know, that was uh, that was a disappointing team or a disappointing performance. I think you know both teams sort of put in a real good show tonight. Overall, how do you rate the pre-season preparations now? Do you still feel that you're reasonably on target? Yeah, we've still got fortnight to go, and uh, I think that's what pre-seasons are for: keep building up. In, uh, you know your fitness levels and uh, your understanding, and you know the little bit of sloppiness that you had two weeks ago. It's starting to like get less and less. So uh, you know pre-season is all about just sort of getting the minutes under the belt, getting back into good habits. Uh, winning mentality is, is very important, and uh, not so much about winning games, but the mentality of being focused. And uh, you know I thought uh, the players have done so far, you know, okay this pre-season, but you know we've got three three big games to go, and uh, every game we're going to will be you know approaching that for a little bit more every time.